We got this one call here from San Antonio, from Jan. It says, my son just revealed that his wife confessed to a six-month-long affair with a coworker. Our family is understandably angry at his wife, but my son wants to work through forgiveness and reconciliation. My question is, how do we navigate this as a family, showing love and forgiveness, yet working through the complete lack of trust we all have for her and the hurt we feel? Oh, great, great question. This reminds me of my friend, I think it's Jennifer. She's in the, like, she is one of the best, most wonderful people on the planet. And what makes her awesome is there's been once a few times that she said, hey, I met somebody, but I think you've talked about them. Are we friends with them? And I love the way she asked that. Like, I'll burn their house down if we need to, but I kind of like them. So if it's cool, like, and so... I have friends like th- like that I'm so ride or die with that are, if you hurt my friends, if you hurt my family members, man, it's hard for me. It's hard. I have a loyalty issue, pathologically so. And when it comes to imagining somebody cheating on, like, you know, on my kid, the amount of hurt that would cause, the amount of devastation, that would, all that would just be so hard. And then my son turns and says, or my daughter turns and says, I'm going to work through this. I've forgiven her. I'm asking you to forgive her. Um, I'm going to have her a part of my life. And if y'all want to be a part of my life, she's, she, she's, we're a package deal. So here's a couple of things um, that I would think through here. Number one, never, ever, ever, ever talk bad about his wife. Two reasons. Number one, you never know as much as you think you know your son. You, you as parents never know what's going on behind closed doors. Same thing goes with friends. Like my friend, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. Not that there's ever an excuse to have a six month long affair, but I'm just saying you never know what's going on behind closed doors. There's always another side to a story. So that's why number one, you don't talk bad. Number two is if you come out of the gate, I can't believe she did this. She's a this, she's a that, oh my, whatever. And then they get married or they stay married. And then she becomes the mother of your grandkids. Those words will always ring in her head. Those words will always ring in your son's head. So don't. Don't talk bad. Ask your son how he's doing. Know that she is probably struggling too. I'm going to tell you something crazy. Reach out and see how she's doing. Because it looks like she is going to be bathed in shame and guilt and heartbreak and all the mess that comes with this. So reach out to both of them and see if they're doing okay. Let her know if she needs anything, you'll be there. You'll respond. And I know, you forget that, dude. If anyone hurts my son, what I'm telling you is finding somebody new to hate never solves anything. Forgiveness does. And I know that's hard. I know it's hard. So, number one, don't ever say anything negative or bad. Number two, be very clear about your boundaries. Very clear. Whatever they happen to be. Son, if you get back with her, y'all will not be welcome in our home. If that's your boundary, be big boys and girls and draw the boundary. Draw the line. If you get back with him, I'm taking you out of the will. I just need you to know that. Cool. If you go to that church, I will not support you. If you, whatever it happens to be, if you're going to make your boundaries, make them clear. Clear as kind. Say them out loud and hold to them. The third thing here is, man, default to hospitality. Invite them over. Give her a hug. Give him a hug. And then just turn the football game on. Because as much as you want this to be y'all's hurt, your son's the one going through this. They're the one that have to live with each other every day and get up and go to bed and get up and go to bed and make this thing work to excavate everything and build something else that's new. Get along, get on with forgiveness and reconciliation. This is their journey. What they need is people to anchor in and love them and support them. And not to be judgmental or be like, I saw her on her phone. Do you know what that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Hug them both when they come in. If he says she's back, then she's back. 
or unless that violates one of your boundaries. And the meta here is, man, freaking Facebook took meta from me. I got to come up with another word. Unbelievable. The big overarching balloon umbrella thing. I don't even know what to call it. Ben, that's your job. Come up with a new meta word. I don't know what it is, but... I'll, I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> is default to forgiveness, default to hospitality. Man. Default to hugs first. And I know that makes me sound cliche and lame and cheesy, but it's right. 